Okay, this is the down omer workout. It is an excellent all round fitness workout, but it's also good in particular for the shoulders, in particular downward rotated shoulders. It helps to upward rotate them for better function, pain-free function. Because it's a Tabata workout, you're gonna be doing every single exercise for 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, alternating for a four minute interval, which turns out to be eight sets per exercise. You go through the exercises one at a time. It can be best to use an app on your phone to ring you through the set, the work and rest intervals. I recommend Boxing Timer Pro. You can just set it and it'll buzz to let you know when to exercise and when to rest. We're gonna get started with exercise number one. This is the wall lean overhead laterals. You wanna take a little towel, fold it up into a square so you can place it between the back of your head and the wall for some extra cushioning. You want to walk your feet forward, have your feet pointing up, chin to your mid neck. You should feel like you would fall backwards if the wall wasn't there. Your only points of contact are your heels in the back of your head. Then hold the dumbbells out to the sides with the palms facing up. Arc them together overhead, pressing them together at the top, lower them back down to the sides and repeat just like this. This is the butt on wall twisting row. You're going to stand with your feet wide apart and the back of your hips on the wall. You're gonna lean forward about 45 degrees with a straight spine. Pull the dumbbell down at arm's length with your palm facing behind you. Pull the dumbbell up and twist to a sideways grip at the top. Lower back down and repeat. As a progression, you could do this with your hips off of the wall so that you're using your postural muscles to hold yourself up. The next exercise is the sit down squat curl and press. So you wanna begin with your feet together side by side with the back of your legs touching a chair or bench behind you. You're going to place your free hand on your belly button and your other arm Hold the dumbbell down by your side with your palms facing in. You're going to push your hips back, bend the knees to sit down, stand up, do an arm curl, and a press. Reverse and repeat. Curl and press, reverse and repeat. Next exercise is the pullover plus. You're going to be gripping the dumbbell, holding the underside of the top end plate like this with your hand. Begin laying face up, holding the underside of the top end plate. Keeping your arms locked out, arc the dumbbell down behind you, pull it up over your face, and from this position, flare your shoulder blades out to the side and just elevate your body up, pushing the dumbbell up towards the sky. Lower back down and repeat. So you're lifting up from about the mid back. Your low back stays on the ground at all times. exercise is a knee push-up and downward dog combination. You're going to begin laying face down, completely flat with your hands down beside your shoulders, ankles flexed, toes tucked under. You're going to do a knee push-up, then from the top of the knee push-up, you're going to straighten your legs, push your hips up and back behind you, so your body is in an inverted V. Reverse the movement and repeat. As a progression, you can do the push-up from your hands and feet. Next exercise is the forward press lava claps. You're going to be laying face down on the ground. Keep your arms off the ground at all times. You're going to Bring them 
to touch the outside of your thighs. Swing them in front, press the palms together, and repeat. The next exercise is the windshield wiper. For this exercise here, you're gonna be laying flat on your back, your arms out to the sides in a T, your legs straight up, and you're just gonna lower them side to side, going about halfway down. As a progression, you want to curl the back of your hips off the ground even more while you're doing this. Instead of being in this position here, you're going to curl the back of your hips up a little bit more and go from the tucked in position. 